everyone so today I have my July favorites for you I have a couple makeup things and then I'm gonna include the random stuff at the end like movies TV shows books things like that so I hope you enjoy and please subscribe like and comment and let's get into the products so for the first thing I have my beauty blender sponge um, it just looks like this this is really good for the summer I usually use um, this this is the uh, Real Techniques Snuffing Brush, and this I really liked in the fall and winter, but this gives a much more natural coverage because, you know, you have to wet it first and then you apply it, so it just looks a lot more natural, and I really, really enjoy this for the summer. And then we have the Professional by Benefit. So this, this obviously is not what it actually looks like. I got a sample of this for prom, which is um, like two months ago, and you can see... I'm pretty much out of it. I'm gonna go pick up a new one, but it is $30. I do think it's worth it though, and I highly recommend this. I was using the, it was the Tarte Poreless one, it was the purple one, and that one's pretty good. It's very silicone-y, so it kind of broke me out a little bit, so just be careful when it comes to that. But yeah, really good primer is the Professional. And then the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Spot Treatment. So this is what that looks like. I do have very acne-prone skin, and I took Retin-A, if any of you guys have ever taken Retin-A before, you have to go to a dermatologist, and it cleared up my skin completely, but then for some reason I started breaking out again. So I've tried like the Neutrogena one and the other Clean and Clear Persa Gel 10 one, but this one really works. Uh, I saw results the next day um, after I applied it, so this is really, really good. Okay, and then... My next favorite is actually an accessory. If you guys have ever visited ASOS, it's I think it's a British website actually, but I ordered online. The customer service is amazing. I think you get free shipping. Then there is a 20% off discount code, I believe, if you just search that. Um, so I got two purses because my original purse broke. So this is the first purse. I really, I only use crossbody bags, um, and this one is like a really good size. It fits my Vera Bradley wallet that can hold my phone and like my cash and stuff like that. So this is really good. And then the second one I got, oh, by the way, this order totaled like, I feel like 30 something dollars for two purses, which is actually really good. This one is also really cute. It is another crossbody one. It's just like kind of a big pocket. It has a zipper here. The other one has a zipper as well, and then kind of like an unzippered pocket on the other side. But yeah. This one's really cute too. So definitely check there if you're looking for cheap purses or bag house. That's where I got my original purse. Okay, so the next thing is actually a hair product and it is the Not Your Mother's Beach Babe uh, Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. So this is really good. What I normally do with this, and I'm all out by the way, I just finished it so I have to go pick up a new one. And I think it's only at Urban Outfitters or Ulta because I can't find it at any other drugstore. If you guys have ever used a sea salt spray, you know that you just kind of spray it when it's damp and then it will kind of give you more waves. I like to braid my hair and put this in my hair and the next day it gives like really natural looking waves. So I really like this stuff because I haven't been using heat for the entire summer. So definitely love that product. And then the next thing, since I have been breaking out, like I said, my skin's been really bad. And I mean, I shouldn't be putting makeup on it, but um, I need a fuller coverage concealer and I've been using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this is in the shade NW30. So this stuff is really amazing. I use my beauty blender with it, just the tip of it like this. And then, you know, I just kind of blend it and it looks really natural. It's great for under eye circles. I have really bad dark under eye circles and this covers it up. The only thing is the pump because you waste a lot of product. The only time it really works for me is when I'm just applying concealer and then powder over it. That's just enough concealer for me to cover up my blemishes, but usually end up wasting a lot of product. So that's something to consider, but I really do love that concealer. And then the next thing is my Nivea lip butters. I have two of them. I have the Raspberry Rose Kiss that looks like this, and then the Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss one. I actually prefer this one because it doesn't have a color. And this one kind of does give like a pink color at first. I mean, if you blend it in, it's fine. Um, but I love the scents of both of these. I haven't tried the other ones, but I probably am going to. But I love those. Uh, I just throw them in my purse, and then they're really great at moisturizing. They smell really good. And yeah, I really like those. Okay, and the next thing is a scent. And this is the Escada. I think this is called Sexy Graffiti. It doesn't have the name. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, Sexy Graffiti. So it looks like this. Um, it has like a little charm 
and I got this last summer actually and during the school year I wore like Taylor Swift Wonderstruck and then with like a pink fragrance like body mist on top of that but this summer I've just been going with this because it is a little bit lighter and Escada usually is like summery fruity scents so this one's really sweet and I actually really do enjoy it so if you have tried any of the Escada perfumes and you haven't tried this one I highly recommend that one and then okay next is nail polish so I've been using Essie Lilacism which is actually on my nails right now and I really enjoy that it's kind of like a springtime color but I've been using it a lot in the summer and then this one I actually have not worn at all yet and I only got it recently at the very end of July so you might be wondering why it's in a July favorites but it is this Essie polish in Butler Please I think yeah so I am in love with this color. I've been trying to find Pacific Blue by Sally Hansen for so long and I can't find it anywhere. And this one looked very similar to that. If you are looking for like a dupe, even though it is more expensive, um, I can't find the Sally Hansen one anywhere. So I really love this. That's what I'm going to paint my nails after these ones chip. And I, I guess I'll let you guys know if the formula... I mean, most Essie formulas... Essie is my favorite band, brand of nail polish, actually. It kind of does like get goopy, though, if you leave it out in the heat. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty opaque, so I'll let you guys know how that nail polish goes, but I, I'm just in love with the color, and I can't wait to paint my nails that. Okay, the next thing is a bathing suit, actually. It is from JCPenney's. It was actually kind of expensive. I think it totaled close to $50, but it looks like this. Um, it does have a halter strap. I took it off, though, because I was tanning, I guess, the last time I used this. So that's what the top looks like, and the bottom looks like this so you don't have to really worry about it falling off and the bottom you know covers your butt it's not like a string bikini or anything and it's very like comfortable to wear I really love the colors it's like that turquoise and this like indigo it's like a purpley blue um, accent and I just really love that bathing suit so definitely go to JCPenney's if you're looking to get a new bathing suit okay and then the next clothing favorite is actually this type of t-shirt. So if you guys watched my dorm room haul, you might have remembered that I mentioned that I spilled nail polish on a shirt, and it is actually this one. Um, it's just a white t-shirt. You can kind of see like the nail polish stain there. But I really am into like baggy t-shirts. These are all from H&M by the way. There was like a buy two. It was like a deal. You know, it was cheaper to get two of them than one. They're all like baggy, and then they have... Um, like the cuffed uh, sleeves and they just look really flattering for somebody. I have bigger upper arms so like this is very flattering to wear tucked into like some high-waisted shorts or something like that. This one actually has, I don't know if you can see this, but like multicolored specks in it. It's like pink, yellow, blue, and green. It's actually pretty cute. So, And then I also got just like a powder blue one. It's almost like lilac just looks like this and it has a pocket on it which I also enjoy too and then the cuffed sleeves so I've really been liking that kind of shirt for the summer because it is very lightweight one more thing for beauty this is the MAC soft and gentle mineralized skin finish I love using this stuff as a highlight and then also in the inner corners it's just really really pretty um, and it definitely like it's the light. I really like this because it's very multi-purpose. You can use it as an eyeshadow. And I think this was close to $30, but you can use it for multiple things. So my first random favorite is a movie, and it is Moonrise Kingdom. So if you guys have ever seen that, that came out a while ago. I'm pretty late on the bandwagon for this. If you have a Tumblr, you've probably seen it reblogged before. Um, and it's not my favorite movie, uh, but the cinematography, like the way they filmed it is just really beautiful and... I don't know, it's just very interesting to watch. My all-time favorite movie is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, if you guys have ever seen that. So it didn't top that, but it was, you know, entertaining to watch. It was cute um, and very well filmed. The soundtrack was really good, so I just really enjoyed it altogether. And then TV show is Arrested Development. So if you guys have ever seen Arrested Development, you probably are in love with it just like I am. I saw it like a very long time ago and you know that there's a huge gap where they stopped filming and then it became a Netflix exclusive. So if you have Netflix, definitely watch that. Um, I just finished getting through all the episodes um, and apparently they're gonna make a movie so I'm very excited for that. It's just a really funny show and um, 
yeah, I guess you do have to have a certain type of humor to enjoy it, but I just think it's hilarious, so definitely check that out. Okay, so music. I um, am really into music, so I have so many music favorites. If you guys are interested, I can make like a playlist video. Um, I know not a lot of people enjoy the same kind of music as me normally, but I'll just give you guys like a favorite artist, song, and album. My favorite artist has been Grimes probably this whole month. Um, I was a big fan of like Genesis and Oblivion and her other popular songs, but then I finally like started using my Spotify and I checked out her entire album. And, you know, I only knew a couple songs before, but then I really like listened to Visions and I fell in love with that album. I guess that is an album favorite, but all in all, like Rhymes is really fun to listen to. But I recommend checking out Genesis at first if you're interested in finding new music. And favorite song, surprisingly, is Stan by Eminem. Um, I am not a rap fan. The song itself is just really interesting. Um, I'm sure you guys have heard it before because it is a more popular song, I guess. But it's just, it really makes you think. And it is kind of depressing and it is explicit. So, you know, if you're not allowed to listen to explicit music, I would not listen to that. But it's just, it really does make you think. And then just the story of it is really captivating. So yeah, I have been enjoying that song, surprisingly. And then favorite album is Modern Vampires of the City by Vampire Weekend. So you guys saw I had a Vampire Weekend poster in my dorm hall. And I love that album. My favorite song is probably Unbelievers or Step, if you have listened to it. Otherwise, I definitely recommend it. So definitely check that out. I'm seeing Vampire Weekend in September, so I'm very excited for that. Okay, now favorite book is Clockwork Orange. Let me go get it for you guys. Okay, so this is a book I actually did not finish yet, um, just like the whole nail polish thing. It looks like this. Well, I mean, there's different versions. If you've seen the movie, I have it because I can't watch anything scary. And based on this book, I feel like I'd be scared um, watching that. And I love reading. This is probably not for everyone, just like the music. But this takes a while to get into because there's a lot of words that are in a different language. It's kind of made up. But, I mean, I took notes and it like, I'll write what certain things, you probably can't see that, I'll write what certain things mean. And then, you know, you have to really get into it. I read it actually, I started it last summer. I just picked it up again, so I'm going to have to start from the beginning. But I'm reminded of why I like it so much. It is a very interesting story. So I definitely recommend this if you enjoy reading. And if you want a light read, you might have picked up The Fault in Our Stars back there is really good. And then Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me by Mindy Colling. She's from The Office, the, yeah, The Office, if you guys have ever seen that. It's a really good book. It's a light read. And if you know you're going to the beach or something, pick up those two books. And Perks of Being a Wallflower, another good book that's a light read. So those are my favorite books. Favorite food is actually, you know, not my favorite food, but what I've been eating this entire month is just like 100 calorie packs. These are the Keebler fudge stripes. Um, they're 100 calories. I also eat the chocolate pretzels that are 100 calories. And pudding cups, these are all chocolate things that are like low calorie, but pudding cups that are sugar free that are 60 calories. I have been eating a lot because I'm trying to eat better, but I need that like chocolate or like sweet thing. And those are, you know, kind of low calorie. So I've been kind of supplementing them in as my dessert. So those are really good. And then the last category is favorite YouTubers. So non-beauty is Brothers Green Eats. Um, if you guys like cooking, even if you don't like cooking, I am not the best cook, but I saw one of their videos. I watched their first video and I've been addicted. Like I've watched every single one. It makes me want to cook. They're really funny. Both of them are cute in my opinion. And they're just really entertaining to watch. They're, they were on another channel. And I think it was like their segment was Midnight Munchies, and that's really well, like, the way they filmed it is really awesome. And then they have their own channel now, so definitely subscribe to them. And then favorite YouTuber for beauty is Rachel Whitehurst. Um, she is also really funny, and she doesn't have a fake personality. She makes really awesome beauty videos, or just vlogs in general. She's just a really entertaining person, so I definitely recommend um, her as a YouTube channel to subscribe to. So that is all my favorites. Um, I think it's a lot. I can already see this is 19 minutes long, this video, so hopefully I can edit it down into something shorter. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and please subscribe and leave any recommendations, because I am just starting this channel. I might film an About Me tag, so just comment down below. If you want to leave a video response of your favorites, uh, feel free to do that, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.